Diego, un saludo muy grande. Alejandra, hola Alejita, ¿cómo estás? Hello. How are you, Perry? I'm good, how are you? I'm pretty excited to be talking with you. Good, good, me too. It's nice your to first time? somebody else, other than my boyfriend and Ellie. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yes, I'm going to be a, a memory for this uh, isolation days. Yeah. <laughs> how long has it been in the UK? When did you start it? Um, I think I started isolating a little bit earlier than the government said. So I think I've been isolating for a month and a half. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, quite a while. Excellent. We start a in a bit. Oh my God. We, we haven't reached the month yet. It's going to be next week or first month. Right. Okay. But, well, people are pretty excited because you released a song. I have here the, the stickers, uh, options here and, uh, Dear Sure is asking us here that if the new album is going to be a color, which, which color would be for you guys? Multicolored. All the colors. All the colors thrown into one. Like, okay. It's an explosion. Yes. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Here is um, Sabri Ellie. Is your concert in June in Cardiff? Oh, so is this about the summer shows? So I think right now everything's going ahead as if it's happening, but we don't know for sure. I know three shows so far have been cancelled, which is so crap. But um, I don't know for sure if the summer tour is happening or not happening. I think people are just going ahead as if it is for now, but we'll know more information a bit later. Well, you you read, uh, released the breakup song, and I understand that as an artist, you always have a lot of plans regarding uh, promotion, the release of the song. How has it been like living this experience within these times? It's really weird. It just feels bizarre, like just doing promo from our own houses, doing like everything online. And I'm such a grandma with technology. Like I think my fans know like how bad I am. So. When we have to record things and do different interviews and do different lives, I'm like, how do I do this stuff? It's so annoying. I think I'm getting a bit better, but it's so hard. Like, I could not do anything to do with technology as a job. I suck. And, re and regarding the promotion, does it? Uh, how do you manage to be the four of you connected? Like, we're going to do this on Friday. How do you feel? Uh, I know it's, it's different, but how do you feel the people is, is, for example, receiving this kind of stuff? Because for me, it's amazing when an artist releases song during these times, because mm. it's like a fresh uh, breeze that is like hitting us in, in this isolation. Yeah, I think, I mean, we were going to hold off releasing because we thought, is it a bit weird, like not being able to promote it and things like that. But then we, we just thought, I think because it's such a good vibey song and it makes people feel good when they listen to it. Now is the perfect time more than ever. Than ever. But, ever. but it is hard for me and the girls to do like the promo together because we obviously have to split it all up and do it individually or do it as like on a Zoom call or something like that. So it is quite hard to connect as a group. So it feels a bit bizarre doing all the promo like alone. I feel like I'm solo and I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> Don't so say weird. that. No, no, no. <laughs> like yeah. Harry, uh, the, the last uh, first two weeks of March, you, you closed the LMS, the LM5, like the close of an era uh, regarding that album. And uh, I would like to know, what did you decide that breakup song is like the opening for this new year and this new phase on, on Little Mix? Um, I think... Well, it was never actually supposed to be the first single. There was always oh, a different song in the running. Um, and we just felt like, even though it was a sick song, like we were kind of in a really good way, spoiled for choice with first single because there was so many amazing songs that we were all obsessed with and everybody wanted something different. So like we decided to go with Breakup Song because when we finished it and it was all polished and it was ready to go, it was just so feel good and uplifting and colorful and poppy and fun. And it's got that 80s reference that everybody loves. And it just kind of gets you going. And we just felt like in our guts, it was the right decision. So we kind of got a happy feeling like we did with Shout Out To My Ex or Black Magic. Like sometimes your ears just tell you what it's gonna be. 
I love that uh, this song, and you mentioned Shout Out to My Ex, which is my favorite one. I yeah. love it, Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, This song was written by you, Liv, and Jane, and Jade, and when you for, you told me that you just finished it and you saw one feel that it's, it's the right thing, is there the song a hint or uh, why are we going to listen in the album? Because I feel like an 80s vibe right now, you know, the After Hours, The Weekend is pretty 80s. Dually mm. also, the whole album is, is called Future Nostalgia. Is it like mm. a wave or, or, or you just is going to be like this part in the album, this 80 part? Or what are we going to expect? Um, I don't think there is. It isn't a tall 80s throwback album, that's for sure. It's still got like what we love as a group. We've still got like those R&B influences and pop. And we kind of like to just mix loads of stuff together and it randomly just works and obviously remembering we're four individual girls and we have different tastes in music and we also come together and like make it work so I think we like to switch up our sound we like to keep things excited like exciting but we also know what works as well so I feel like this album has just been so easy like I can't even lie it's been so <laughs> easy to make it's just flowed nicely everyone's loving it it's just a nice vibe yeah, it's just been really good. It hasn't felt like work. It's just felt like fun. So, yeah. Well, we're talking about the album. I have a question here uh, that is asking us if you can describe the album in one word. How would it be? Oh, um, in one word. I'm going to make you easier. I found another one that says, Perry, describe the album in three words. <laughs> okay, three words. Okay, that's good. Thank you. Um, thank you, Leeds. Okay, Lisa. colorful. Okay. Fun. Epic. That the third one, it's it's cool. <laughs> yeah. I epic. love how your face just start shining when you say the epic. Yeah. It's just such a good album. I love it. I just think it's so good. Like I can't like we've only just released our first single and I'm already so excited for the second, like and the third and the fourth. Like it's so good. I'm buzzing. <laughs> Did you did you expect it like the reaction from the people because it was on Friday the release and just the teaser have one million views in that uh, release time? Did you expect that kind of an excitement or, about this new single? Um, I think we never we never want to get our hopes up because obviously if you are expecting it to be a smash and a hit and it isn't, it's like oh shoot. So we kind of just we know that we love it and we adore it and it makes us feel good and we just hope that when we release it it's going to do the same for everybody else and we know our fans would love that kind of song um because i think we've grown with our fans like we know what they like what they dislike and i guess we just kind of thought it would be a smash but yeah the fans have taken it really well and they're loving it um so that's good we're just grateful when our music does well because when you create something it's obviously your baby it's like your passion it's what you love so it's like presenting it to everybody else and if they don't feel the same way it's like oh it like really hurts because it's your yeah. baby <laughs> so when everyone takes it really well and enjoys it it's like oh great it's like baking a cake and someone eating it and be like oh my god this is the best cake ever i love it give me more or if they taste it and they're like oh it's a bit crap like it's just you know you've worked mm, yeah, hard yeah. on that cake you've baked it you've spent all that time making it perfect so yeah, it's kind of the same you thing. You the best. Yes, always. I, I have a lot of people asking here, why are you going to South America? When are you coming to South America? I know it's hard to have plans like that in these times, but I assume you will have maybe tour plans for when the album is going to be released. That I assume that the date have changed. Maybe the plans yeah. of tour maybe change too. But what have you talked about when all this is over? What are the plans for the band? So we obviously, like I said earlier, like we don't know what on earth is going to happen with our summer shows and what is going to happen with this year. Like I feel like personally, people need to just write off 2020 and pretend it never happened. Like I think we need to just, anyone with a 2020 calendar, throw it in the bin, pretend it was never even here because this is a <laughs> weird freaking year. So um, we're actually in talks with like our management and our label, um, chatting every day, like messaging, emailing. And I think where we've left it at the moment is they're going to bring in plan A and plan B. We're going to have to overlook it, 
talk as a group, say how we feel about both situations, both plans, and then go ahead with one. So, yeah, plan A or plan B, basically. Let's, let's wait and let's hope, guys. I see a lot of, of South America, Miami, what happened with the tour. Well, plan A, plan B. I know that also you, you guys been working a lot and, and, and you're telling me that sometimes you feel solo because all this isolation. But I know people want to know, how are you managing to do this, my fair lady, spots at home there are amazing <laughs> <laughs> thank you one of my favorite songs are cool and dance on night so when they saw you in the stairs so that's oh my god i want to do that <laughs> yeah i love that song so much i just love musicals like i'm such a musical geek um and i was kind of just like i do it around the house all the time for fun and i was saying constantly i never shut up And my mom was like, can't you just film it and post it for your fans? They'd love this. And I'm like, I don't think anyone would care, mom. And she's like, no, they would. I, I swear they would love it. And then Ellie, like who I live with, my cousin, my best friend, she was like, I'll film it for you. And she got a slight tad bit carried away and ended up making the living room like an actual set. Like she loves it. So it's just something to do, I guess. It's just fun. But so. it's impressive. Like, Thank we, you. <laughs> I don't know your house, but it looks like so huge. The living room, I'll just believe it was the sea. It was, it was so amazing. I can't believe you do have like true faith in these uh, spots of musicals. You yeah. still keep doing more. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I am going to do a few more. Have yeah. you ever been in a, on a musical? Um, no, I did musical theater at college. Um, so I've always done singing, dancing, drama, like from school all the way till obviously becoming in the girl band. Um, but I've never been in like an actual production other than what I did at college. So but I think that you're going to be receiving calls. What if that happens? <laughs> like, Perry, we so. need you. On a yeah. musical. <laughs> It would be good. I'd love to do that one time. It would be fun. It will be a good surprise. Also, our question that we are receiving a lot is that if the last picture was real, that you said that the, that the old Perry is not here because she lost her mind and you have short hair. Yeah. Did that happen? So funny. Every time I wear a wig, people still think, is it a wig or is it not? Yeah, yeah. But it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's a wig. My hair's so pretty long. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, we're going fun. to reach for another couple questions because people are pretty... Uh, worried about the your hair and for here uh, Leia says if we're going to get some rapping from lead of Jesse in the new album oh um there isn't any right now there might be a bit of like talky singy vibes maybe but there isn't any rapping okay <laughs> oh why that you should you should add it and I want to know Uh, I know that the album is in process, you, you're willing to, to release it, but a lot of artists are working right now in new music because they have the time, they're at home. Are, are you maybe having plans for, for doing new music or are you already written something during this isolation? Um, I haven't actually done a whole lot of writing, which is pretty lazy for me. Um, the best it gets is if someone says something, I'm like, oh, that could be a good song or a concept for a song, so I'll put it in my notes. But I've been too busy making, you know, musicals, yeah. singing, <laughs> rehearsing things. Me and the girls are filming something um, later tonight, which will be coming out soon. I can't reveal what it is, but that's kept me busy. Um, I've been jamming out with my dad and my brother on Zoom, um, just playing guitar, singing, that kind of stuff. Um, but that's it. I haven't really wrote anything, to be honest. Oh, well, very. I would like to know since a lot of fans from USC, people in Germany, Argentina, Chile, Miami, which have been like the hardest part during this time. And what would it be your advice for people? You're telling me that you're with your dad, with your mom, you're we're in company. What would be the advice for people that maybe are lonely or alone at home? What would it be like the best advice for you? You have experience. You have a month and a half, so. We need that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I think it's definitely just keeping a positive mentality, keeping yourself busy, doing those little things that you've wanted to do forever, but you never have the time. Like something stupid, like just, oh, I haven't been able to get out and wash the windows. Like anything 
stupid like that just helps keep your mind occupied and constantly calling people facetiming people having zoom chats like I've been having a few like Zoom calls with my friends and doing quizzes and having a glass of wine, like all that kind of stuff's really fun. So I think, yeah, just try and stay positive and, and remember that everybody in the world has gone through this as well. We're all in it together. It's not just you. So yeah, and we're doing it for a reason. We're doing it to keep everybody who's vulnerable and who's working really hard to keep us safe, safe. That's right. Well, Barry, thank you very much for being with us. Uh, there is a question that is, is popping again and again. We need some kind of spoiler from the album. People are mentioning maybe a collaboration. I don't know what I read here, Ariana Grande. Like, uh, do you have any collaboration for the album or what else can you let us know? Because I feel that we, we need to, we're going to have to wait to, to the release of the album. So could you please tell us a little bit something about it? Okay. Just a little bit. <laughs> well, hmm. Don't want to give away too much. But there is talks of a collaboration mm -hmm. um, with a female artist. Whoa. Yeah. Now, don't get excited because it hasn't been done yet. But we are very keen. We spoke about it. And we think it's going to happen. But obviously, we haven't been able to do it yet because we're all sticking indoors. But yes. Mm-hmm. That's all That's I can it. Say. <laughs> I love you just said. And it was like so... It's a female out and like nobody's watching. Yeah, it's okay. Like, we won't tell anyone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Barry, thank you so much for being with us. We really appreciate it. And we're we're pretty excited. You know, it's Colombia, the other part of the world. So I would like to say hi to everyone in Colombia and people in Los Cuarenta. Yes. Hi guys. I can see all the comments and they're so cute. I love how the fans are like, leak it, Perry, leak it, because they know what I'm like. I always <laughs> leak stuff. Um but yeah, I, I love all of our fans and I wish I could see you guys in the flesh and give you all hugs and just spend time with you. But hopefully when all this madness is over, we can connect, we can tour, we can come see you guys. So yeah. Well, thank you very much. For it was pretty nice talking to you. I hope that you keep posting those musical bits, please. <laughs> thank you, I will. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. Thank you very much for chatting with us today. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Okay, bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye-bye.